Emotions run high in the days following severe storms, but for some, their job is just getting started. Chief Meteorologist Lexi Walker followed the National Weather Service as they surveyed storms from this past weekend. She has our report. Crews from the National Weather Service use radar to approximate where damage may have been so they can rate these tornadoes based off the enhanced Fujita scale. The data is just a starting point to then drive up and down roads to find damage. Rick Smith from the Weather Forecast Office in Norman spent the entire day yesterday surveying damage in Knox City, Texas and Duval, Oklahoma. In very rural areas, you're looking for any kind of damage at all. You're looking for a broken tree branch, a downed power line, a broken power pole. Uh, when you get into homes and more you know, densely populated areas, you're more likely to see things like this. I did the survey of Sulphur, Oklahoma on Sunday and that was completely opposite. There was just a lot to look at there. Each damage survey may be different, but what does that process look like? They actually use an app that identifies the crew's location while on scene where they can input whatever type of building they're inspecting. Based on the damage to the mobile home, barn, trees, etc., there are 10 different levels to choose from. Once they collect the photos from in the field and rate the estimated wind speeds, they hit send and it's immediately sent back to the office in Norman. The process doesn't stop there. A virtual survey also includes the following factors. Where we're looking at, uh, we get drone video from people. We're actually, we, we have a request in to get some very high resolution satellite data of the area. So we, we will be using that. Civil Air Patrol flew their planes over part of the damage, so we'll be using that. Emergency managers take pictures, you, you guys in the media take pictures, the public sends in pictures, we, we scour Facebook and Twitter looking for everything. The process is a lot easier than it used to be, but it can still take quite a while to finalize these damage assessment reports depending on how many tornadoes there are. Smith would like to remind everyone how important it is to share your photos even if it's just one. Something as simple as one picture with a location can be huge for us. I mean. That's essentially how we found out that this, this house was damaged here. And um, it's, it's, that's, we get some of the best information just from people posting on Facebook.